How's it going, guys? Um, I got a couple of pickups I wanted to share with y'all. Um, I got a new IGS arcade game. This, this one came out in 06, uh, Fearless Pinocchio. And this game was actually geared towards uh, kids, I think. You could, if you bought the cab from the uh, manufacturer, you could get it one of two ways. Uh, first way, the cheaper way, was they would set your cab up to dispense tickets. That way, if you got a good score, it would, you know, dispense a bunch of tickets, and then you could take them to the uh, little cash counter and or prize counter and get your little prize. Or you could spend a little bit more cash, and you could uh, have the arcade machine actually dispense prizes itself. But uh, it's a really short game. It's animated really cool, though. But uh, I, I think if you do well, if you beat two characters, you can fight the boss. So after you beat three characters, it would dispense your tickets. So you, you'd play through the game fairly quickly. But I got it for really cheap. I thought it would be cool to like set up the arcade panel here. came with the Sanwa joystick. And it's got one attack button, which lights up with this LED right here. Came with some move stickers. This is just another one of those. But here's a look at the board. It's got power here, and this is all the VGA controls. Or right, it's not JAMA though, so that's new. But what's neat about it is it has VGA. Uh, so I can just use a regular monitor, a uh, computer monitor. But yeah. So this would be interesting. I'll keep you guys posted on this. Uh, as for my other pickup, I, I picked up a Simpsons cap, which I've always wanted ever since I was a, a kid. <laughs> Finally happened. Some, some guy in the neighborhood was getting rid of his, put it up on Craigslist. But yeah, everybody has seen The Simpsons before, so I probably won't do any gameplay or anything like that. But uh, there's a look at the CAD. And as for other news, my 6 slot died on me yesterday. I got a RAM error. It said working RAM error. And uh, just refused to play, play any more games. So I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Hopefully I don't have to replace it, because they're uh, not easy to come by. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, I currently have my two slot that I consoleized um, in there because it still, you know, works on Gemma. But uh, I also wanted to go over Beast Busters. I, first, I consoleized the thing because I thought it would be neat to wheel this uh, desk that I mounted the guns into. Uh, into, like, my, you know, big screen in the living room, plug it up to the TV and just play. But for some reason, I got this really jumbled up, distorted picture. I could barely make out font, you know? So I tried another encoder, and that didn't really help. So I just jamified it, just like the tutorial on uh, Jamination X shows. And then when I plugged it into my cab, I didn't get a picture at all. So I'm, I'm afraid I have a damaged board, but I have no way of really telling, you know? Because the, the game and the board is pretty, you know, hard to come by. And they're rare. So, if I can get another one, I can see if it's the game or, you know, the board. I'm pretty sure I wired it up right. I mean, the tutorial is pretty straightforward, but as of right now, it's a no-go on the, on the Beast Busters. <laughs> but anyway, there's other projects that I'll be pumping out, so, you know, stay tuned, guys, and uh, take it easy, and we'll see you next time.